Your child's brain is growing at lightning speed, becoming more complex with every stage of life. To fuel this incredible development, well-balanced nutrition packed with essential nutrients is key. So here to talk to us more about the must-have food groups that will help support your child's brain power and overall growth is Dr. Willow Jenkins. She's a pediatric psychiatrist at Rady Children's Hospital. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me on. She's even brought some props to show us exactly what we need to be giving our little ones. So we hear a lot about brain food. Mm -hmm. People say, oh yeah, feed them brain food or make sure you pack brain food in the lunch. Is that even a thing? Well, your brain is the energy hog of your body. It takes 20% of your calories that you put in go directly to your brain. Okay, so right. what we put in is absolutely essential. And we know that good nutrition impacts memory, mood, focus, even sleep. So absolutely, it is a real thing. Okay, so what are the best foods for brain health? So my five favorite kind of categories of foods for brain health is, I'm gonna start with one. I didn't bring in salmon because I thought it might be smelly, um, but omega-3 fatty acids, and actually fatty fish is the best source. I'm holding here our chia seeds, which are another good source, mm -hmm. but omega-3 fatty acids have a lot of evidence that you've gotta get them in your diet. So hopefully your kids like fish. And if they don't, you can put chia seeds in yeah. like oatmeal, you can put it in mm -hmm. yogurts, or make smoothies. those like overnight smoothies. Mm -hmm. Lots of ways to use chia seeds. Yeah, you can hide them in anything because yeah. they really don't taste. No, no, they're pretty good. Um, fresh fruit, of course, but especially ones that are high in antioxidants. So blueberries are one of the best fruits and kids love it. Just mm -hmm, a handful a day of blueberries. You can even get creative and do lots of stuff with them, pop them in mm -hmm. those smoothies. Mm -hmm. That's a great choice. Mm -hmm. With pancakes oh, yeah. on the weekends. Delicious, That's good yeah, delicious. Um, now, complex carbohydrates. You don't want those simple carbs that give the quick energy spikes. Mm -hmm. So oatmeal and sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. These also have great source of vitamin A. You can get creative, you can do chips, you can do fries, oh, yeah. lots of stuff with these that kids like. And oatmeal's mm -hmm. a go-to for breakfast. Yes. Um, protein. It's a building block for neurochemicals in our brain. We need protein, but you want good sources of protein. It also helps with steady energy levels throughout the day. Um, Greek yogurt. Great source, also some almonds. And look how cute these are, ready yeah. to go. Swap out the chips, throw in some almonds. A lot of schools are nut free, but mm -hmm. for a mom on the weekend or after yep. school, throw those in your bag. And it exactly. is a great source of a quick snack. And the last one is one you don't always think about, but it's water. You have to get enough water mm -hmm. because dehydration is shown to reduce concentration. So for kids oh. particularly, you really want them to be carrying those water bottles that they always have everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> are they drinking them? That's the question. Yeah, exactly. So those are the things I try to hit in my own family. That is interesting. I didn't even think about that mm -hmm. fact if they're dehydrated, that they're not thinking clearly. Yeah. No, I fall guilty to it all the time. Or, or even gives them a headache. So should we be giving kids, some people are like, my kids will never eat this. I'm just going to give them supplements. Yeah. You know, most kids don't need supplements. The times when they do are when they're on a restricted diet for a certain reason, like if they're vegan, if they're celiac, things like that. Or in the case of a child who maybe really struggles with those omega-3 fatty acids, they, you really don't eat the fatty fish, that would be a reason to talk to your pediatrician. But you really have to be careful because the supplements are not regulated. We don't always know what's in them. And a lot of times the ones that are labeled as brain boosting don't have a lot of evidence to back them up. Okay, you talk about the fatty fish. I don't know if I can get my daughter to eat salmon, but I really think I'm gonna be leaning hard on those chia seeds mm -hmm. until she does that. So is there food we need to stay away from that really can kind of hurt the way we're thinking? You know, the way I put it, there's no bad foods and remind ourselves that food always has a purpose and enjoyment is a very valid purpose. So just limiting those ultra processed foods, mm -hmm. that's the fast food, that's the soda, that's the chips, mm -hmm. just limit it. Um, and that's my best recommendation, moderation. That's smart. So if somebody's watching and they want to make a change today, where can they start? What's something easy? This, a handful of blueberries. Yeah. That's the easiest, and they're so easy to get. Those jumbo blueberries they have now are delicious. And my go-to is a smoothie. You can pack everything yes. into that smoothie. <laughs> Thank God for smoothies. <laughs> That's the, those are my two big tips. Yeah, because your kids almost think that it's kind of like a, an ice cream or something. You could put so oh, much stuff in there. They get colorful. You source yes. some strawberries in. There's some banana. They don't know what it's supposed to be yes. in there. All right. Thanks so much, Dr. <laughs> we welcome. appreciate you.